Am I actually about to expose my YouTube channel? It's October 11, 2019 and if you don't know what that means, it means it's National Coming Out Day. So yeah, uh, National Coming Out Day is important to me because uh, it kind of validates coming out. And um, today I thought I'd talk about coming out, my coming out story and a few coming out tips. So yeah, it's October 11th, 2018, which is, means it's National Coming Out Day. And National Coming Out Day to me means that um, people that have come out or are thinking about coming out or in the process of coming out are being validated. Um, coming out is a very scary, important thing. Uh, I came out two years ago, I want to say it's coming up to two years, I'm pretty sure, as a transgender FTM. Um, my sexuality we won't even get into I don't I feel like that's kind of irrelevant currently maybe that will save that for another video but um yeah <laughs> so when I came out it was probably the most scariest thing I've ever done before um but it was also it's like since then I've been able to live how I want to live and it's been fucking amazing so I thought I'd talk a bit about my coming out story. So when I was about 12 years old, I started to feel like I was very different. I'd felt different throughout my whole life, but then as I got into secondary school or uh, middle school, um, I felt very different to everybody else around me. Um, turns out I was a little transgender, um, and once I'd figured that out and found the words to put to what I felt, oh my god, the most amazing fucking feeling in the world, I'm not even exaggerating it. Um, I finally felt like I was an alien and other people, I knew other people were going through the same thing as me, um, which is, which was fucking, it was so good to know that other people were going through the same thing as me and I wasn't alone and I wasn't weird for what I was going through. Anyway, so I found that out when I was about 12 years old, but I didn't think I came out until I was about 13, um, purely because I was just too scared. Coming out such a scary thing, so don't feel like you're, you're, um, you're being weird for being scared to come out. It's it's very normal. Um, <laughs> um, I have a couple coming out tips. Um, obviously, I've had to come out a lot uh, in the past two years because you'll never just come out once and that's it. You'll have to come out sometimes on the daily or if you meet new people, sometimes it comes up into conversation, depending on what you're coming out as. If you're coming out as gay or like lesbian or bisexual or something, I don't think it would come up as much, depending on how open you are as a person. But say you're coming out as transgender, I think it does prop up more because it is um, it is something that, that affects daily life that little bit more. I came out as transgender to uh, my ex-girlfriend first, but then I slowly came out to my family and my friends. Um, and everybody was really supportive. Obviously there's people that don't agree with it and people that really struggle to wrap their head around it. Some of them are okay now, some of them I still get a lot of stick off of, but I was never expecting everybody to be okay with it. So please don't expect everybody to be okay with it. I know that's a scary thought, but it will help for when, if people do act negatively about it, it just, it just means like you, you didn't expect everybody to be okay with it. If you are thinking about coming out, please only come out if you know it's 100% safe. Don't do anything that would put you in danger. Just come out when you think the time is right. When you are coming out to your parents, I think depending on how old they are, um, LGBT topics isn't really talked about a lot, um, especially when it's to do with teenagers. I, I think from my experience, I know that. Um, so when you are describing your identity to them or your sexuality, then um, describe it as if you are describing it to a five-year-old that doesn't even know, that doesn't know what the LGBT community is. Describe it as in they've never heard the word LGBT before. Just be prepared for all the questions, basically. Be prepared for all the questions and all, all the queries. <laughs> queries you will get about your sexuality or identity or whatever you're coming out um, with. Um, it's always important to remember that, uh, you know, not, you may not always get the reaction you were hoping for and if you're not, don't stress because there will always be people out there that will love and support you no matter, no matter what. Um, and, you know, if you are unfortunate and you can't come out currently to your family, then come out to your friends because if your friends uh, will accept you for being LGBT, um, then that's amazing, and if they'll love you all the same, that's amazing. But if they don't, then you probably shouldn't really call them your friends anyway. National Coming Out Day to me means that people get a chance to feel like 
they are being recognised for something they did maybe five years ago, maybe a week ago, you know. They get recognition for what they did and get told that, you know, what they did was a brave thing. In my eyes, I don't enjoy being told that me coming out as transgender was a brave thing because I don't see it as something that I that is brave. I just saw it as something that I needed to do. Therefore, I'm not brave for what I did. I was. It's just something that I needed to do. It was a necessity and I did it. Um, so yeah, I don't see myself as being brave for doing that, but I know that there are people that have come out and I and I think they're brave I think they're so brave for what they've done and what they go through one piece of advice or like tip that I have for um, LGBT people is don't feel like you need to label yourself or rush to label yourself so other people can understand more. At the end of the day, if you know in yourself what you like, what you don't like, who you are, who you aren't, then that's all that matters. For example, when people ask me my sexuality, I don't really give them a definitive answer, as in a label. I just kind of say I like boys, I like girls, like I like people, like whatever. And then some people will presume, oh, that's pansexual, or some people presume that's bisexual, but I've never really stated what my sexuality is, purely because I don't want to. I don't really like the label pansexual, but I don't think I fit into the bisexual ca category. Um, so I just simply say that my sexuality is fluid because it is and I think everybody's is to be honest um therefore you know you don't need to label yourself and I feel like when people ask me advice they think they say like oh I'm really questioning my gender or I'm really questioning my sexuality um this is I I like blah 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 or I feel like blah 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 like what is this and I'm like you don't need a label like if you know who you are if you know who you like then that's all that matters like Nobody else, it's really not anybody else's business to be honest, apart from maybe the person you're dating. But um, apart from that, it's really nobody else's business. And if you know who you like, who you don't like, or who you are, then you don't need to find a label to fit so, so it's easier for other people to understand. If they just, if they can just accept that you are who you are, then you're fine. You don't necessarily need to come out as in, I am gay, I am lesbian, I am transgender. As I said before, like you don't need a label. One thing I would say though is um, when I was thinking about coming out or when I wanted to come out I wrote everything that I wanted to say on a piece of paper so I knew everything there and I like could refresh my mind and brain of everything that I wanted to say and another day maybe I thought of something else and I could add that um, so I literally wrote everything out on a piece of paper so I knew what I wanted to say so then it was so much easier for me to just speak it or if I felt at the time that I could not get the words out I would just give them the piece of paper and be like hey read this um, and I think that's such a good way to, to get anything out even if you're like feeling sad and you want to tell somebody if you just write down why you're feeling sad or whatever then and you give it to them or then you can speak it a lot easier because then you know what you're gonna say um, one thing I definitely found um, was I needed to give my friends a bit of time to get used to my new pronouns and my new name. Um, so don't expect everybody to be like really good with like your pronouns, your preferred pronouns and your name at first because like that's, that's inhumane to know somebody by something for like 15 years and then to just ask for them to change what they call you and they be able to do it straight away. Like please don't expect that because then I feel like you'll just be upset when people start getting it wrong. Um, the way I look at it, or the way I looked at it was, you know, they're trying, and if they're trying, that means the world to me, and that's all that matters. Whether they get it wrong one day and then not the next day, or get it wrong, don't get it wrong one day and get it wrong the next day, like, that didn't matter to me, because I knew that they were trying, and that's all that mattered um, to me. Um, that could also go for if you are um, coming out as gay or lesbian, please give your parents or friends time to think about it, or um, to just reflect on that. Um, so if they don't accept you, in the second but not so much they're being hateful towards it it's just they're like oh you're, you're just confused or you know it's just a phase you'll grow out of it if they're being like that just give them time to adjust and, and to take in what you have just told them and then go back to them the next day or the next week or whatever just give them as much time as they need because it's not like you'd think it doesn't it wouldn't affect them as much and in, in the long run it doesn't but in that moment they think it's such a big deal but like they'll realize soon that it's not because because it's not a big deal it's just it's just a part of who you are and it's a part of, of your being i think in a nutshell that's all the tips and advice i wanted to give i don't want to give too many because i feel like um i don't have all the tips and advice i'm only 15 and i've only been out for two years i don't have all the answers you know um 
But yesterday was National Mental Health Day, which is also a really important day to me. Um, and I did make a Snapchat video log thing of uh, it. Um, so I'm going to insert that now. It's Mental Health Awareness Day and I didn't want to be the guy to make that video because I always seem to be that guy because I just think it's so important. Um, so Mental Health Awareness Day 2018. If you don't know what mental health is, Google it. I'm not going to be a dictionary. But uh, Mental Health Awareness Day is important because it just makes people that are going through shitty times feel valid and feel like what they're feeling is valid because it is. And it hasn't been valid for a long time. And uh, I think finally, slowly, mental health is really starting to become... Like, it's being taken more seriously, basically. And that is absolutely amazing. And we have come so far as um, in, in society to, to accept people with mental health illnesses. Um, and I think it's really important that we have this day so, like, people know that they're not alone. And, like, the things that they're going through, you know, other people will be going through as well. And, like, you're never alone. Don't ever feel like you're alone because, like, straight up you're not. I don't really want to sit here and spam my story. I just want to let you all know that, you know, you're never alone with what you go through and your feelings are always valid. Um, and even if you think, you know, if you have a problem and you think that it's not as important as somebody else's, like your feelings, if you feel sad or upset about something, like then that is valid. If it's affecting you, it's valid and it's important and nobody's feelings go above anybody else's, you know. Everybody's feelings are valid. Everybody's feelings are important and everybody... Like, needs to talk to somebody. If you feel like shit, talk to somebody. But it is okay to not be okay sometimes. And I feel like people do not accept the fact that it is okay to be sad. And if every day you were fucking over the moon happy, then it would be... It'd not be boring, but, like, the good days wouldn't feel as good. So, like, say you had a really shit day Tuesday, and then you woke up today and had a banging day. Today wouldn't feel as good if yesterday wasn't that shit. Do you understand what I mean? I think... I get what I mean, but yeah, I just wanted to make a small video thing. The last thing, I also didn't want to be this guy, but I'm going to be this guy anyway. Um, if you ever do feel alone and you feel like you can't talk to somebody, just remember that I am always, like, I'll always take the time out of my day to speak to you about how you're feeling or whatever, because it's important and, you know, you should always speak to somebody about how you feel and you shouldn't bottle it up because that makes everything worse. So yeah, I don't want to be that guy, but if you do need to speak to anybody, then please think of me because, um... I'm a good listener. I don't know. <laughs>So yeah, that was just a couple of thoughts I had yesterday when I was um, just sitting down. And um, if you don't follow me or on Instagram, uh, the link will be in the description. I also posted something for that. I don't think I posted, I didn't post a long caption, but it was just me in a little bit of makeup. When I say little, I really mean little. Just just so like, I thought that was quite important. I don't know. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to share this video with my main school Instagram. Um, if you're a bit confused by that, if you've come from that, basically I've had this channel for almost a year now um, and I've had very a lot of videos on this channel but I've deleted a lot of them because I just didn't feel comfortable uploading or keeping them up when I knew certain people would be watching them and I feel like if you do have a problem with my YouTube channel or you want to take the mick about it, um, just click off it and don't subscribe because... I don't care what people think anymore and I feel like the messages I bring do for like they do help people and the more I can get it out to people then the better I will feel about it and this is a way that I can get more people to um to view it so yeah I'm kind of nervous but um hopefully it'll have a really positive effect because I know quite a few people after I posted that thing on Snapchat yesterday were saying that oh my god you should start a YouTube channel you'd be so good um so I'm hoping that this will have a positive effect if it hasn't and I end up deleting this then rip me but okay um yeah if you don't follow my Instagram the link will be in the description and um I'll see you guys in the next video goodbye I can't believe I'm gonna expose my YouTube channel